Oh, there we go. Here around the corner. Welcome to another episode of Fine and Joe. We are down here at Coronella Boat Ramp, brand new. Just opened up last week. I think every man, woman and child is down here this morning. It's about five, six o'clock in the morning. And everyone else is giving it a go as well. It's going to be a perfect day today. Wednesday, sunny, not a cloud in the sky. We're going to shoot out. I'm going to give the same spot that we did last week a go again. And see if we can get onto more snapper. I think after that, then we'll shoot out through the heads and uh, give that a go. Got an eerie mist. Now this is the spot we were last week. So we'll just come back and give it another crack. And like uh, everyone else has decided to do the same thing. Captain should be actually doing this tip today, but uh, so it's the captain's tip presented by myself. <laughs> Western port because of the running tide. Should always use a running sinker. AKA Western Port Rig. AKA Western Port Rig. You got the old Western Port Rig there with a the running sinker. I'm going to put a clip swivel on the end of that and attach my, uh, my leader to the end of that. Throw it out, bait in tow, reel it back in. For the snapper. Are doing the Paternoster this week? Nah, well you know what? Paternoster didn't give me much success last week. No, it didn't. It well, technically it did work because uh, I caught the last snapper of the day on it and it was the biggest. On slack tide. On slack tide. Which is the time that you swap them over. Yeah. So you want a, you want a running style sinker set up when the tide's running. Preferably in, not ebb ebb meaning out so that the bait can just sit there and flap in the water give it that natural presentation for the snapper they love it and then when we reach slack, slack tide when we reach slack tide we'll throw in a couple of pattern osters straight down So I've come out of Coronella, which is just over there, about a K. And we've sat here since about 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning. We've burled it up hard. We've got the Paternoster rig, we've got the Snell rigs in the water. And we haven't had one single bite. Nothing. <clears throat> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zilch. So the tide's just changed now, it's just starting to head out, which they call an ebb tide. Ebb tide is an outgoing tide. What's an incoming tide? I've got no idea. You only know half the amount of fact. I've got no idea what if, if you know what an incoming tide is called, leave that in the comments below. I've got the captain and myself on the boat today. Unfortunately, Joe couldn't make it. Uh, if you'd all like to see. Joe in the next episode also leave a comment below and let him know that he's loved and missed. So the plan today is obviously to fish here for another 30 minutes and head out to uh, the eastern entrance, maybe around to the left towards Kilkunda and see if we can actually catch some breakfast or maybe some lunch.
captain has put us on a magnificent spot right on a contour line 30 meter contour line directly in front of Kilcunda cutting himself onto some bait fish so I do it every time I don't know I get sick and tired of my magnificence you know what I mean I just come out here for a break and I'm just continually catching fish lucky I thought to drop this out the front luckily lucky we have a front I don't know how you go without me Lawrence Oh, oh, probably a dribbling mess. Dribbling mess? Mm. Urine stains on your underwear, perhaps? Felt like you just got a hit on the other rod here, well, but Lawrence, what have we got? Bloody? The biggest flathead. Come this way. If you wouldn't mind. The net, please. Oh, that's that's a shit hot flathead. Like three rippers. Yes, we were three. Before they Hang on. The hooks off. Fucking nets. Alright, you ready? You got them all? Hang on. No. Nah. Come back, please. Hang on, what's going on there? <laughs> we might get none in a minute. <laughs> Alright, well. We've hit the mother. Mother low here. It's a good flatty. Nice and thick. Flathead low. That is a ripper. Thick flatty. Captain, absolutely beside himself at the moment. I'm a mess! I got marks! I got. I'm in here making going. some lunch, and oh, he's out it's there it's going between left time. and right. I'm having a couple of really great hits on the rod there, yeah, and right. he's just up and about, so excited. Could be a gummy. Hope so. Yeah, I reckon it could be a gummy, because they sometimes mouth shit and then drop it. That's Captain Fact. Captain Fact. Captain Tip. Tip and Woody. Captain Fack is the gummies. Yeah, they sometimes don't take the bait. They just mouth it, give it a little pull, and then um, away they go. Does it get any better than that? It's American barbecue slaw kit with a chipotle barbecue sauce. Very, very nice. From Coles, get on that, that's good. I'm sure most people can eat or fish. Can you do both? Here we go, have a look. I'm not one to pump myself up. You're looking like something's taking a good nibble. Yeah, something's coming. Something's coming real. I might come back to my wrap. See where we go here. Anyway, here. Captain's the start of the shift. Shift us out off to an offshore reef. It's all about the time, isn't it? Yeah. Time just felt right. We haven't had much luck with the snapper in Western Port, nor inshore off Kilcunda, so let's see how that produces. There's no other boat in sight. I should tell a lie, there's one just to the right. Gotta stop doing that on camera. There's Sickness. not a boat to be seen! Just fucking 100 yards away. <laughs> <laughs> Been to about five or six different spots today. We haven't had any luck in any of them. None. Managed to get breakfast and lunch and that's about it. Stopped off at the end of Cape Willamai. Even if we don't catch any fish, that is just amazing.
Probably come from the Rass family, that one. Yeah, it's a, oh, nice colours on it, isn't it? There he goes. Wanted to go back. Yeah. Rass or something? Awesome. You know you're around reef and you get some rass. Yeah. That's gummy bait right there. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Bit of a fight on the old light rod. Just the end of the day. Probably only a tiny little fish. <laughs> Feel the fight, no? Yeah. I know. You never break that rod as long as you don't lift it up any higher than that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, look at it go. Bring him over. More bait. Yeah, gummy bait. Gummy bait, man. Apparently they love it, don't they? They do like the wrasse. Talking about a close call. <laughs> That's it for another episode. Hope you enjoyed that one. Hopefully I actually put together a half decent episode because we caught no fish today. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.